Do you think the Israel has achieved those objectives it had set at the very outset when it launched that offensive on Gaza on 8th of October and victory is indeed in reach for them? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you, Jawad. What is victory? You have to analyze that. And in what sense? If killing people is victory, then you should have, they should have dropped the atomic bomb and everything was finished. They, sh they would have become a victor. That is not victory. Okay, this is genocide. All right. And America is part of it. You were just referring to Joe Biden's statements. It is a double standard statement. It is hypocritic statement. He cannot and he will never oppose any sitting government in Israel. Yes, Israelis themselves can change the opinion and remove their God. Few, few weeks back, I contributed a theory uh, in academia and it is referred as fear and tear. This is what Israel and America do. Okay? They first create fear among the people who they think might oppose them. And after that, they go after their target and tear them apart. And that is what they are doing in Gaza and now in Rafah, on the Rafah crossing. They know that from Rafah onwards, these people have nowhere to go. Isn't it? That is why they will, they will try and eliminate them because they just need land. They just need land. They are, they are inhuman people. They are insane people. And he is a war criminal. Israel, in fact, is a criminal state. Inherently criminal state. And that is what he is doing. If he is claiming victory by killing children and destroying schools and hospitals, yes, he is a winner. If that is the standard of his victory, and that is accepted by the so-called civilized democracies and developed West, then yes, he is a winner. There have well, been it. statements by other world leaders also, not only specifically the US President Joe Biden, uh, also EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell has also said that if that particular offensive specifically in Rafa would uh, be launched, it would lead to an unspeakable humanitarian situation. Some sort of also similar sort of statement com uh, coming from uh, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron also. I mean, at the very outset of this, the kind of support that was actually shown by the Western world towards Israel for its right to defend itself, don't you see a shift in that particular tone over the, uh, over the course of past four months? I mean, we are not interested in seeing that shift. We are interested, strength, we are interested that the bombing should stop immediately, the war should stop immediately. Atrocities should stop immediately. Genocidal killings should stop immediately. These statements have no weight. If David Cameron thinks so, why, why should he call the UN Security Council? He can also activate. Why is he waiting that OIC countries will call? OIC countries will not call. Why? Fear and tear. Netanyahu has created fear in the hearts and minds of all the Muslim states. 